Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. Today I'm going to veer away again from my usual format of political commentary, and that's because not too long ago I used to do nothing but reviews on this channel, and today, somewhat to my surprise, screeners for Avengers Endgame became available. What I've discovered about doing this show is if you, you really need to strike while the iron is hot if you want to build an audience, and boy, do I need to build an audience. So since I have now watched this film 24 to 48 hours before most, most people will, I'm going to do a spoiler-free review. I will say absolutely nothing that will spoil the film for you. I won't say who lives. I won't say who dies. I will not mention the specifics of the plot or the plot holes. I won't talk about the battles. I won't talk about the roles played by various characters in the story. I will not talk about who gets heroic deaths, and I won't say who gets happy endings. This is a completely spoiler-free review. Review. My general review? Well, this is a damn good movie. It's a damn good movie. Unfortunately for me, it suffers from what I call the Fandai Master's curse. You see, when I was doing reviews, I used to tell my viewers that I am a Fandai Master, and that means that the fandom is strong with me, and that means that nothing is new, nothing is original, and at worst, I figure it out about a half an hour too early. This is not a boast or a brag. This is sadly where you find yourself after having watched, read, and listened to over a hundred years worth of science fiction, fantasy, and superheroes, and you find that there just isn't that much that's new in the world, and it does sometimes interfere with your ability to enjoy something. And that is the Fandai Master's curse, and unfortunately, this film does suffer from it to some extent, as I, a Fandai Master, saw a lot of things coming. Now, I don't think that a non-Fandai master will say the same thing. I think for the average moviegoer, this is going to be a kick-ass movie. And they're going to have a lot of fun. Even though the running time is nearly three hours, it is a hell of a lot of fun. I think this film is going to do huge at the box office. It will probably shatter records. If you're a Fandai Padawan, you're going to have a lot of fun. You may start to see some of these things coming. The plot holes are going to start to loom large. And at the end, you may be asking yourself questions like, wait, um, how could that happen if? Or, wait, what does that mean about this thing? Or uh, it, did it happen? Or what? Or, wait, where is this character right now then? <laughs> It will probably bear repeat viewings if you are a fan of Padawan so that you can see if some of the plot holes are covered a little more or make a little more sense. But it's still a kick-ass movie. Other reviewers are going to glom on to these plot holes and discuss them to death. And to be sure, some of them are probably worth discussion. But if you're an average moviegoer, forget about it. You're not going to care about any of that at all. It's only we fans who are going to sit and bitch. There's otherwise very little to dislike about this film. Now, even though it does have a running time that's damn near three hours like Infinity War, it holds your attention. It is not formulaic. That's one of the best things about it. It does not have an action scene every ten minutes like clockwork. It is not afraid to be slow where it should be slow. It certainly isn't afraid to be epic where it should be epic, and boy is it epic in places. It tugs on your heartstrings where it should. The heroic deaths are moving. The happy endings are equally moving. The effects, of course, are top-notch. What would you expect? It's a Marvel movie. I will say that virtually anyone who has ever appeared in any Marvel movie ever gets a moment or two in this film. Here is the sole problem with this film. I don't see how you can top it. And from a purely literary sense, it is a logical closure point to the MCU as we have seen it to do date. If they did no more movies after this, that would kind of be appropriate. In fact, I personally would prefer to see them end it right here. Send everything out with a big giant bang. That would be really satisfying from a literary perspective. To have built up to this huge, huge film and say, fade out the end for the whole thing. But unfortunately, we know they won't. And I don't know if you can ever build up to something, an ending this epic ever again. This is, in fact, the logical closure point of the MCU as we have seen it to date. Where do you go from here? <laughs> so, as I had used to do in my reviews, I would ask myself, is it any good? Oh, hell yes. Yes. Go see this film. Um, do try, if you're a Padamon, 
or a fan die master, or even uh, maybe a particularly observant uh, general audience member, try not to think about the plot holes if you happen to see them. They won't ruin your general enjoyment. You may find yourself wondering about them afterwards, and fortunately for you, while I will not be sitting to bitch about all of them, there will be plenty of reviewers who will. <laughs> so that is my review of Avengers Endgame. You may see this film with my full endorsement. So thanks for watching, and feel free to write, write out what you happen to think about this film in the comments. I'd love to hear. And if you like what I'm doing, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would certainly appreciate your support, either for your subscribe star, my PayPal tip jar, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of those in my description box below. So thanks for watching Tales from SYL Ranch, and remember, for a breath of fresh air, watch Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.